Title IX, what started as a way to make sure men and women were treated equally on college campuses in America, quickly turned more sinister following a letter from Obama. The letter stated that they needed to afford more women more protections against sexual assault following the flawed 1 in 5 study done by a known feminist Mary P. Koss. Title IX now allows people to make accusations against other people with absolutely no evidence, and in effect get them expelled via kangaroo courts. But not all hope is lost. The story I'm about to cover comes out of Michigan, and it's bloody good news, so without further stalling, let's get cracking. Suit seeks to protect students accused of sexual assault. A lawyer is seeking class action status for a lawsuit on behalf of college students who want the right to question their accusers. In a groundbreaking ground move, sorry, the first ever prospective class action lawsuit that would benefit students accused of sexual assault has been filed against a university, potentially reversing the outcomes of dozens of sexual violence cases. Experts say the suit against Michigan State University is a clever legal maneuver that takes advantage of a significant ruling in the US Court of Appeals for the Sixth Circuit. Judges determined in September 2018 that students accused of sexual assault or their representatives had the right to directly question their accuser, which legal experts said would reshape the notion of due process in these cases. The lawsuit would the uh, theoretically challenge even retrospectively or retroactively the results of any campus sexual violence case that didn't offer due process pr uh, protections. Advocates for accused students have long maintained that institutions disregard due process rights in investigating and adjudicating campus rape charges. Ever since the Obama administration in 2011 released a gui uh, guidance around Title IX of, ed of Education Amendments 1972, the Federal Sex Anti-Discrimination Law. I'm sorry if I keep stuttering on these words. They're American pronunciations and I'm English, so there we go. Though these rules were popular amongst sexual assaults of uh, assault survivor advocates for giving victims more protections, alleged victims. Education Secretary Betsy DeVos pulled them nearly two years ago and replaced them with regulations that have not yet been finalised. These regulations and other rulings in the Sixth Circuit have asserted that, that students are entitled to, uh, to due process under Title IX. If those, if those protections are inherent in law, all decisions made without those protections could be visi revisited by the courts as procedurally insufficient to meet due process, said Brett Sokolo, I don't know, president of the Association of Title IX Administrators. The Sixth Circuit opened the door to this and now it's going to need to figure out how to clean up the mess. No, there is no mess. They should be allowed to cross-examine the person that is accusing them of one of the most heinous crimes imaginable. The lawsuit was filed by a male student who is anonymous in the court filings and referred to as John Doe. He was accused of sexually assaulting his date to, to a fraternity party in February 2018. He sued Michigan State in December 2018. The lawsuit states that Doe believed he and the female friend or female student were just friends after she rejected a kiss from him earlier that year. But at the at the party, the female student kissed him. Given, the impression, given him the impression that she was interested in him, the lawsuit states. According to the lawsuit, Doe asked the student to return to his dormitory and she agreed. Although Doe initially believed their sexual activities in his room were consensual, the woman appeared uncomfortable and was shivering after he started to initiate sex, the lawsuit states. The student left shortly after the encounter and Doe uh, thought she regretted going home with him, but around 3 3am, he received a text from a mutual friend saying that she was told that Doe, uh, Doe forced himself on the student. Several days later, the student of whom he had se had the sexual encounter reported the alleged assault to the Office of Institutional Equity. After an ev investigation, Doe was suspended from Michigan State for two years. The lawsuit alleged that investigators were biased and ignored conflicting statements from the female student. The suit notes that Michigan State was already under scrutiny for mishandling sexual assault allegations by female students, which Doe suggested affected the outcome of his case. Around the same time that Doe was accused, a scandal was unfolding at Michigan over a long-term conduct of Larry Nasser, the former team physician at the university and a doctor for the USA gymnastics team, 
who was found to have sexually abused hundreds of patients, including Michigan State athletes. Officials were widely criticised for allegedly ignoring students' complaints over NASA's conduct. Lou Anna K. Simon, Michigan State's former president, lost her job over the controversy and faces charges, charges for possibly lying to police during the criminal investigation. At the time of the universe, at the time the university was also under investigation by the education department's office for civil rights for potentially violating Title IX in its handling of complaints unrelated to the NASA case. Determined to placate OCR to avoid the potential loss of millions of dollars in federal funding, to restore its reputation and to protect itself from future liability, defendants launched a campaign to, in its own words, go above and beyond even OCR's demands and to drive cultural change, prosecuting female students' sexual assault claims aggressively, proving its willingness to believe female students who claimed sexual assault and, convi and convicting and punishing alleged assailants, the lawsuit states. Andrew Millin uh, Miltenberg, the lawyer representing the accused student, amended the complaint this month and, re and requested class action status. The court would need to be persuaded that enough or current, enough current or former students accused of sexual misconduct may have been denied due process to justify them as a class. Michigan State also uh, could also request that the case not be classified as a class action. A spokesman for the university for the university declined to comment. Will you stop changing it from college to university? It's confusing me. Thank you. Miltenberg, a manager managing partner between Nesson, at Nesanoff and Miltenberg, said his client is not asking for monetary damages, but rather that sanctions imposed on the students be reversed. Good man. Several Michigan State students have approached his firm about flaws they perceived in their Title IX cases and problems at the university's process, he said. After researching the number of potential accused students over the, and after a sixth cut circuit decision in September, Milton Berg said he believed the class action was possible. Milton Berg says he believes several hundred current and former students could be affected. The lawsuit includes statistics on sexual violences, on sexual violence that universities must disclose under federal law. Michigan State fielded 86 reports of sex crimes in 2017 with similar numbers in 2015 and 2016. If the lawsuit was successful, the findings of all those cases could be overturned. These numbers may be inaccurate, however, because of the way in incidents are reported. A report of dating violence may also count as stalking slash creating duplicates. Miltenberg, oh, count as stalking creating duplicates. Miltenberg said he believes he will win the lawsuit, and if he does, he hopes that he can pave the way for similar class actions in other jurisdictions. We need much more transparent, fair and equitable system that gives everybody the chance to pay, be heard completely, Miltenberg said. The lawsuit's success hinges on whether the right to cross-examine was a key factor in every Title IX case at Michigan, said David A. Russell, a lawyer specialising in Title IX at Zeland, Duncan and uh, Bernstein in Boston. Russell reiterated the Sixth, uh, sixth Circuit has been strong on issues related to due process. It certainly does make it plausible that with the dozens of cases at Michigan State over several years, it could raise these issues, Russell said. And so it should. Listen, you can't just dismiss and kick people out of school based on the word alone, because as you know, and I've been a firm, staunch advocate, not advocate, but uh, conduit for this, Women do lie, and even if they're not lying, perhaps they misinterpreted uh, misinterpreted something that went on. Perhaps they got the wrong end of the stick. Perhaps they were just uncomfortable. And if that's the case, they should speak up. You've ruined somebody's life because you couldn't be asked to speak up. This is, as it says in the first few words, groundbreaking. If this can become a thing, it can protect so many men who have been falsely accused on college campuses. I mean, take Emma Zolkowitz, or as everyone knows her, Mattress Girl. Her own reenactment of the of what she claims happened proved it was consensual, yet the person she falsely accused has had his life ruined. He's not allowed to go back to that school. He's not allowed to pick up his degree that he earned. He's, he got kicked out losing his education visa, so he had to go back home to his own country. These Title IX cases ruin people's lives, and... As it says, 
due process rights allow people to cross-examine the people that are accusing them. This does not allow... The Title IX currently does not allow people to do that. So it will be a fantastic move to be to allow people to be able to actually cross-examine because then they can pick apart every single thing they say. Now, when it comes to actual victims, yes, it may be harsh, but that there's an old saying, better 10 innocent men, or better 10 guilty men be let free than one innocent man go to prison. I'm all for that. Yes, there are assholes out there who will use this as an excuse, but it will be helpful for those who have actually been impacted by this sort of thing. Let me know what you guys think about this in the uh, in the comments below because I think this is personally a good thing and it's brilliant that there's actually that is actually coming to a thing where people are questioning title 9. They need to because this cannot continue. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you do rem remember to hit the like button, comment down below what you think. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.